And once more, Yana Tsikaridze of Canada leads off the competition. against any other body part so it's very hard to make sure they keep a hold of that ball and they're not allowed to keep it still at any point in time Beautiful that was catch. stunning well that wasn't good that certainly won't help her get into the medal placings. Right at the end. She also had trouble with that last night in the all-around. Again, having the same mistake, but not to the bigger degree. A big sigh as she walks from the platform. She knows that she's mucked it right at the death and has left the gate open for the other challenges. Well, it's a big deduction not to finish holding your apparatus or be in touch with it. When I say other challenges, I wasn't including Orlando, but I'm speaking of Lin Wen Chen, uh, Kimberly Mason and Nasmin Johnston of Australia. We even saw last night in the all-around a little Cypress girl do very well as in the ball. As, so she's certainly capable of scoring right up there. And that's what's so exciting about an apparatus finals. Just beyond her reach. It was supposed to land in the palm of the hand. I actually think to begin with it was supposed to land in between her knees. So she did throw it, well, it was a tad too far. <laughs> and will be punished by the judging panels. His Royal Highness Prince Edward uh, is in the stands enjoying this final session of rhythmic gymnastics. Apart from one or two uh, quick interstate uh, visits on other matters. He's been in Melbourne throughout the games. Anxious, both the athlete and coach. 12.1, well. That's not going to get a medal at all. Paying a very high penalty for 